Welcome back to the Peric Project. Oftentimes, there's a lot of talk about the different character traits we have to develop in order to fulfill our potential or achieve our goals. The next mission, a mission of six, is going to give us a fascinating new way of looking at it. It's going to tell us what sort of things hold us back from being who we need to be. So he starts off and he says a boar. Now, what is a boar? A boar in, this, in the context of this Mishnah is someone who is completely lacking in Torah knowledge, in good deeds, in character refinement. You can think about some, what someone who has all those, who lacks all those, would be like. He says he cannot fear sin. Right? Those two things just don't go t- together. Right, uh, someone who fears sin is not going to be a bore, and the Kotzkarav, in fact, tells us that it cannot be because there is no sin that's greater than leaving our human develop human potential undeveloped. Think about that for a moment. He's telling us that the the worst thing is to leave our immense and and great human potential undeveloped, and that's why someone who is a bore, cannot fear sin, because then he would develop himself. He would not allow himself to remain a bore. An unlearned person cannot be pious. What does it mean to be pious? A pious person is someone who not only follows the letter of the law, but they go above and they fulfill the spirit of the law as well. Now, someone only becomes that sort of way is when they understand the spirit of the law. They understand what God wants from us, what sort of behavior is pleasing. And that only comes through Torah learning. Now, it's interesting because the question is, what does it mean that someone who's unlearned, what does it mean to be a learner? learned person. So this is something we've discussed quite a few times that Torah is not just an intellectual pursuit. And as such, it's not enough to just open up a book and to read and to learn. That's a great first step. But a learned person is someone who has learned from a godly person, from someone who lives a godly lifestyle. So you want to be a learned person, that's great. But he tells us a bashful person cannot learn because We have to be unembarrassed to ask our questions, to seek our spiritual growth. In fact, there's a a fascinating story that's told about a rabbi that went into a yeshiva where lots of students were, were studying. And he asked, he said, which student is great at Musa, at personal development study. And they pointed him to one. He said, which one knows the most in depth? And he pointed him to a a second student. And then he asked, but who's the best student? And he pointed him to a completely different student. He says, hold on a second. Surely it's one of those two. And he said, no, that one is the best because he's the greatest seeker. And the person who's not embarrassed to ask and to seek is the person that's going to go the furthest. That's great. But what makes a good teacher? And he's going to tell us, he says, an impatient person cannot teach because someone who's impatient and quick their students are going to be afraid to ask questions. In fact, there's an incredible story that's told we should have a tiny bit of that level of patience. The Rav Prada in, in the Talmud, he had, he had a student that had to be taught 400 times before he would understand. Now, it once happened one day that Rav Prada, his student knew that Rav Prada was in a rush. And it, he, Rav Prada still sat there and, and taught him 400 times. And at the end of it, he still didn't understand. So Rav Prater said to him, what's the difference between now and usual? And he said, I understood that you were in a rush and I was worried you weren't going to teach me the 400 times. So Rav Prater said, no, don't worry. We'll sit down and we'll do it again. And he taught him an additional 400 times. And in fact, um, what I saw was that it's not that the student was, was intellectually lacking that he needed it 400 times, but he had such an inquisitive mind that he kept asking for clarification. And Rav Prada had that level of patience that he, he encouraged those questions and he never got impatient with them. Even with that forthright attitude and having a patient teacher, he tells us that most people who are excessively involved in business cannot become wise. Why? 
So the key word here is excess, because someone who's excessively involved in business shows that they view success as a product purely of human effort. But the correct balance is understanding that, yes, God put us into this world and we have to put in our effort, but never at the expense of our soul, never at the expense of letting ethics fall to the wayside. So many tools, and he tells us, in a place where there are no leaders, strive to be a leader. This can go two ways. Sometimes we look around and we feel like, you know what? Compared to others, I'm doing pretty good. If that's the case, he's saying, don't be satisfied. Strive to be a leader. Strive for more. Always strive for more. But sometimes we look around, we see a need, and we feel like, who am I? to fill that need. If that's the case, he's saying, this is not a time for excess humility. I'll share with you a parable. The Chavetz Chaim talks about a village. Now, one day a visitor comes to the village and they offer him a cup of tea and they bring it to him and he takes a sip and he spits it out and he says, ooh, what is this? And he realized that they haven't filtered the water. So he tells them, When you make a cup of tea, you've got to filter out the water so that the tea tastes good. And they listen to him. And a few months later, he comes back and he sees that the entire village has been burnt down. And he says, what happened? And they said to him, we had a fire. But by the time we filtered the water to to put the fire out, the fire had wrecked havoc and he tells them no when you're making a tea yes that's the time to filter water but when there's a fire then you take whatever water there is however high quality or low quality is and you use it to to put out the fire the same thing when there's a niche when there's a need there's a fire no matter what we think we are we have to go and we have to fill that need We learnt so many tools. Which one resonated with you? Let me know.